Charlotte Flair is set to win the Women's Royal Rumble next year. This is Mark Hale's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. This is YouTube, baby. Sub to the channel. Like this video. All your favorite wrestling sites and a lot of people on Twitter are retweeting it that Charlotte Flair is training, which we see in this photo. She looks nice without the makeup. I like her, actually, without the makeup. And um, she is training for that Royal Rumble return. That is supposedly what she is doing. I don't doubt that she's training because we do see the photo of her training, but I don't know if that's really what she's training for. And I don't think she's going to be the winner, per se. I do think with Triple H being in charge, she wants to give everybody opportunity. So I don't think it'll be that predictable that Charlotte Flair is going to win the Women's Royal Rumble. But we will see. We will see. She looks in great shape. I mean, she hasn't... Um, I guess she hasn't gained weight, nor has she lost weight, so she looks like she's been in the same shape, so she's been maintaining the same shape, which is good, you know, throughout her not being in the wrestling ring every week. The women's division does need her at this rate because it's like damage control is on both shows and they're running both shows. It's kind of like both of the story, both of the shows have the same storyline with damage control going on both shows now, but, um, Charlotte Flair, definitely, we will see her with gold sooner than later. I think she will be on the SmackDown brand because it seems like she prefers SmackDown. It seems like when she's on SmackDown, I, I feel like that's when we see the best of Charlotte Flair when she's on the SmackDown brand. But um, with her returning, it, it also could be harmful to the women's division. With all these other returns, it, it, this return may feel... Oh, I don't think so. Let me take that back, because I was going to say that this return may feel like everybody else's return. But, you know, the fans, they love to hate Charlotte Flair. And a lot of the fans, they do actually like her, because they're so used to her being the top star of the women's division, or being one of the main top stars of the women's division. I do feel bad for, like, the returning stars, such as Emma who return and you know she's already losing but if just imagine if she's gonna have a push if the newly wed charlotte flair returns on that smackdown brand so i don't know i don't even think there are brand splits at this rate because i'm starting to see the same people on each show periodically we will see a smackdown star who we thought was on smackdown be on raw and then we'll see a raw star be on SmackDown. I mean, technically, in Damage Control, it is um, Dakota Kai and EO Sky that are the champions. So why is Bailey on SmackDown when she's a Raw superstar? So again, they, they half the time they ignore the brand split. I mean, you're going to say, oh yeah, she's part of the Damage Control, but yeah, she's not the women's tag team champion, so she doesn't have no business going to smack down when she doesn't have a belt to represent we will see also how the women's division will react with her returning because it also looks like you know back in the past when she returned she would usually get most of the spotlight and i doubt that you know triple h is going to have her return and she won't have this major storyline or this major push so that usually means that somebody like lower tier will not will get less camera time it used to be like dana brooke you know she would get less camera time or it used to be back in the day oscar and um what's her name her her tag team something oh you know her and her tag team the, the the what is it the kabuki warriors they used to not get a lot of camera time when charlotte flair returned so, I mean, I can only imagine it's going to be um, damage card and trial there. They may lose, you know, that SmackDown time if Charlotte Flair is back. So they may not be on SmackDown a lot trying to challenge folks or build storylines. Or we won't even see to, um, Tegan or Emma after Charlotte Flair returns because, you know, she is a superstar that is one of the top tiers and that is due to the company building her up as a top tier talent so when she is on the roster she you know it's expected from the fans and from the marketers that she is on every show so if she's on smackdown they're expected to put her on every smackdown f for at least a segment or a promo so she's taking that camera time from somebody else but i doubt that she's going to win the royal rumble 
I mean, I see a lot of people retweeting it, but we'll see, we'll see. But um, I don't think she's going to win. She doesn't need the need. She doesn't need the win. Uh, you know why I say that? It's because she's already a top tier talent. Usually, the Royal Rumble is to build somebody up, and then when they actually win the titles, they are somebody that you like because you saw the journey. This is Markel's World. I think professional wrestling in my life. Subscribe to the channel. This is Wrestling Gossip. I post three times a week.